And the moment you do that, you are the vastness. Because you, you go beyond the mind and you tap, you come to timelessness. You come out of time and you enter into formless, timeless presence, which is here, and it's bliss, and it's love. And it's so vast that you cannot deny it. And it's only, let's say, this much far away. All you have to do is just pull back. Leave your story here and just pull back. That's all you need to do. And instantly, you get a glimpse of enlightenment. You get a glimpse of awakening. Because you are by nature awakened. You are by nature one. You have never been separated. It's impossible for you to be separated no matter what you do. Even if you go kill 50 people, you are still a part of Source, God. The rest of it is an illusion. Your sufferings, your struggles, they do happen, challenges in our lives and the struggles, but they don't have to suffer. The suffering happens because of a perspective we have. Because you hear a voice in your mind telling you things should be differently. It's not fair. Our world leaders should act differently. The government should act differently. The city should be different. The weather should be different. Economy should be different. People should be different. The system must change. Your family should be different. The school system should be different. Your kids should treat you differently. Your boss should treat you differently. You're missing out the point completely. It is a perspective. It's an idea. If you disconnect from that and fall back into yourself, instantly recognize the vastness of yourself. Instantly recognize there is no separation. It's impossible to be separated. It just doesn't exist. It's not even an option to be separated because it doesn't exist. It's purely illusion, illusory. You have to be drugged out and hypnotized to believe there is such a thing as separation and such a thing as disservice to you by God. We have so much to be grateful for. So much. Beyond our imagination, we have so much to be grateful for every day. As long as you're alive, as long as you're breathing, as long as your heart is pumping and the blood is running through you and your mind's still working, in whatever level you are, whatever is happening in your life, if you change your perspective, you will see for yourself that A, everything is perfectly designed the way it is by the Creator, by the intelligence. B, is you have everything to be grateful for. And I'm not talking about blind faith, and I'm not talking about superficial gratefulness. I'm not talking about hypnotizing myself to be grateful. 
I'm just talking about simply for one moment have the willingness to give up your story whatever is your story just pay attention to it let's see what your mind says it's like a little spoiled kid it goes like but this happened to me and that happened to me and yeah, yeah, yeah. your mind will tell you this I don't care who you are because I work with people from age 25 30 to 85 and the child comes and complains of this has happened to me that has happened to me if you can separate yourself from that little spoiled kid who's nagging all the time if you can separate I'm not saying things did not happen to your life I had a lot of things happen to my life and I understand for some people it's very difficult because there's so much investment into this story but if you can just step away from it for a moment or for a few moments you will get a very good glimpse of who you are and you will get a very good glimpse of the vastness and the love that is here right now and it's coming from yourself it's available for you all the time you can swim to in it you can drink it you can bathe in it literally every moment of your life because it's here it's here and it's coming from yourself it's you it's around you it's surrounding you it dances around you it plays with you it kisses you it touches you it's here all the time all you have to do is step away from your story and be grateful shift your awareness shift your awareness shift your attention shift your perspective take your attention from the negative I'm not talking about positive visualization positive thinking I'm not talking about that oh okay Zarathustra said at the webinar that we should think positive and we should visualize things positively no what I'm saying is yeah it's great to think positive versus negative but positive thinking and negative thinking are the same shit it's thinking you're still keeping your mind activated and an activated mind creates all kinds of desires wants this wants that want to be here want to be there blah 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 it's restless it can't relax that's what mind is it's restless there's no such a thing as a friendly mind unless you're using your working mind or unless you become the master of the mind and be the observer of it but what I'm referring to right now is simply you shift your perspective of how you look at things look at your partner or your mother or your child of how you're viewing them walk away subjectively look at it as if someone's never seen your you never seen your son or your daughter your kid or mom or dad or whomever ever before walk away from it and shift your place and look at them from a different angle 